Hello, I'm Michael Benarush, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Manitoba, and it's my privilege to say to you, congratulations, Class of 2021. You made it. Despite all the unexpected challenges, you persevered. You each have stories of how this pandemic has impacted you, stories of disruption, anxiety, hope, and innovation. These past terms were not what you imagined when you began your university journey. Even this convocation ceremony is a diversion from the large in-person gatherings you expected. Yet, you haven't let the pandemic divert you off course. You have inspired those around you more than you know. We are so proud of what you have accomplished and what you will accomplish. The world is changing before our very eyes and you have an opportunity to shape it. In your time at UM, you learn the power of your ideas and passions and of your responsibility to make the world more just, safe, healthy, and prosperous. It is your time to take what you have learned here and reshape our society for the betterment of all. And remember, your university and your alumni community are always here for you. Even when you may feel isolated, remember that you are part of something greater and there are many ways to stay connected. Thank you for your remarkable resilience and congratulations. Going into lockdown in March 2020, wow, I mean, it's you know, over a year ago now. It was pretty intense. Uh, it was a rapid pivot. You know, being so isolated and alone uh, while trying to finish, you know, a PhD dissertation, it was really quite stressful. I was just getting back into the swing of things at school, and then suddenly I'm no longer at the campus. I'm back at home on my computer almost all of my day. But the most difficult part for me during the pandemic came in the summer. I really had to try hard to um, see the purpose of things and try and really push myself to do even the bare minimum. I guess the biggest takeaway uh, in terms of, you know, positive takeaways from the pandemic was perseverance. Accepting that things were the way they were and just slogging through it. I think what I'm most proud of during the pandemic is that I was able to stay in contact with so many people. We were able to kind of have conversations about, oh man, we're burnt out. Oh, we have another assignment. Oh, we have work tonight. And so that did help. It, it helped kind of alleviate that pressure of it's just me. It's just me having to deal with all of this. Everyone is so much eager to just stay on calls after class and talk about stuff. Everyone is so much eager to have meetings, but also discuss what was going on in their personal life. I think that's a big asset going forward is that a lot of students coming out of university have this experience where we're used to working online. We're used to communicating with people in different locations. Um, so I think in the way we move into the workforce is going to be by marketing our skills and, and looking at what the pandemic gave us rather than what it took away. I am truly grateful for the U of M in shaping who I am today. Just with their sheer wealth of resources, um, staff members, the guidance that all of them provided, um, each little conversation that I've had has helped or allowed me to take a step further towards the future, towards the person I wanted to be. 
It has played a huge role in my life, absolutely. My first year of university uh, was life-changing for me. And as an Indigenous person who grew up in the city um, and as the daughter of a residential school survivor, we grew up knowing who we were, but we didn't know what that meant. Um, it just profoundly changed my life. Um, everything started to make sense. And for the first time, I had a teacher, an educator, telling me positive things about Indigenous people. I've been given this opportunity with the experiences that I've gained through university to kind of seek out this alternative career path that I didn't expect going into microbiology. And so now I'm able to educate people and provide knowledge on health and safety that I don't think people have the avenue to learn otherwise. I truly think seeing the campus come alive again is quite poetic almost. Uh, I have spent so much time on campus and I've enjoyed every minute of it. It makes my heart happy to see people. Now I am just starting an assistant professor. The inspiration uh, that I receive from my professors, I want to carry that forward and bring that inspiration to my own students, particularly my Indigenous students. Um, that they belong in university, that they can do it, that they deserve to be here, and that they're just as qualified as anybody else. Sego Skanaganoaga, Yunjuts Karen Froman, and today I am graduating with a PhD in history. Hi, my name is Sidhan Sharma, and today I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Commerce Honours from the University of Manitoba. Hi, my name is Kendall Roy. Today I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science from the University of Manitoba. Hi everyone, Tanse, Tanshi, Anin, Homitoko Pape, bonjour. I'm Ann Mann, Chancellor of the University of Manitoba, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 54th annual Fall Convocation. One of the greatest joys of being Chancellor is meeting with students, but this pandemic has greatly limited my opportunities. I miss seeing your bright, beautiful faces and listening to your stories. It's been a time of huge societal disruption and personal learning, but life continues on. You've persevered and are graduating. This is truly a cause for celebration. I know the pandemic has been really challenging. I've found myself thinking of you, especially when the weight of the pandemic got to me. I've thought of how much more energy you had to muster to complete your final year. I've also thought about the extraordinary efforts of our faculty and staff to make this year possible. And I've been very conscious of everyone's well-being. You've reached deep within yourselves to get to this day. You have also likely reached out to others, both to lend support and to receive it. We've all become more aware of how important it is to look out for each other. Let us be forgiving and compassionate to ourselves and to everyone we meet. This pandemic will have many legacies. May one of them be more kindness. Be proud of yourselves. You are extraordinary students forged during extraordinary times. Never ever forget this. Use the strength you've gained here to define your future. Congratulations. Mamut Takusawin, Gegi Mino Jigem, Wash Te Tonka, Felicitation. The University of Manitoba campuses are located on the original lands of Anishinaabe, Cree. OG Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. We respect the treaties that were made on these territories. We acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past. We dedicate ourselves to move forward in partnership with Indigenous communities in the spirit of reconciliation and collaboration.
Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see the rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Tansy, welcome, distinguished guests. It's an honor to have you join us today. I'm Michael Benarush, President and Vice Chancellor at the University of Manitoba, and it's my distinct pleasure to officially welcome you to this 2021 Fall Convocation Ceremony. Miigwech to Carl Stone for the honor song and to Kyla Fredette for singing O Canada. Special welcome to Chief David Monias, Cross Lake First Nation, and I'd like to invite you up to the podium now. Thank you. Now, as you can ask me, now I know it's got a big old thing. I've been posted to the net, I've seen me now. I've got to scan it, I've seen 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 it, I've Thank you everybody for being here and inviting me. I'm proud to be here to uh, to participate in the in witnessing the Diane receiving her uh, honorary doctor's uh, degree and. You know, she's worked hard and uh, she's uh, gained knowledge through her work, but also wisdom in what she does in helping her people. So I'm proud to be here to present a gift to her. And to introduce myself, my name's uh, David Murias. I am chief of the nation for Pemitsigamak. I'm also chief by default to Cross Lake Band of Indians. We're a sovereign nation, and we believe that education is very important to our people. We have to make sure that uh, our people are put in positions to uh, and recognize for the work that they do, to make sure that uh, we continue to teach our, our children, our youth, our families, our communities, and to receive an honorary doctor's degree will also give her credibility uh, to the outside world. She's already, already received that amongst our people. So I'd like to invite her to uh, present her, first of all, a flag that she can carry on. This will probably show that you're a Pemetsigamak. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so we can say that she's a uh, one of ours, mm -hmm. proud of her. Yes. Right. When you reach a milestone, 
in an orifiative, something that's recognized by the by our people and by by uh, the outside world. I think it's appropriate to make sure that uh, you do receive this feather as well, a symbol of leadership that you have, and hopefully one of the many feathers that you probably receive, and that. Uh, and I thank you uh, for inviting me to be here. Thank you to the family. Congrats, Elisa. Thank you so much. Elisa, thank you so much. All right, thank you, everybody. Nice commitment. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Even though it is a much smaller audience than we're used to. I'm thankful that we can come together safely to award this honorary degree in person. The highest distinction the Senate of a university can confer upon an individual is an honorary doctorate. At the University of Manitoba, the criteria include distinguished achievement in scholarship, the arts, or public service. Our honorary graduate today is Ms. Diana Delarond Kalam. Diana Delarond Kalam is a woman who dedicated herself to improving the life of others. For too long, Northern Manitoba communities such as her own struggled with food insecurity, access to health care, and job training. But she saw how things could change and so she began with the basics. In 2001, she built a community development office in her hometown of Wabadon, Manitoba, using $1,200 of seed money the mayor provided her, $1,200. She quickly got to work facilitating programs like truck driver training to help residents find employment, but she wanted to do more and impact more people. So a few months later in December of 2001, she brought together counselors and other leaders from six communities that reside along the rail line, and they created the Bay Line Regional Roundtable. Ms. Delaron Colomb gave herself the title of animator because that is how she views her role in every endeavor, as someone there to empower and impassion others. One monumental project this group undertook, which still impacts people today, is their grassroots ever, effort to address food insecurity issues. After receiving funds from the Public Health Author Agency of Canada, Ms. Deloran Colomb purchased a shipload of freezers for families to use to store fish and meat they hunted. She then sold these freezers to people at cost and used the revenue to purchase even more freezers. It was a transformative initiative, but she was not done. She also facilitated programming that taught people how to garden and then preserve and can their food. She championed this Northern Food Initiative, which has grown to help an incredible 80% of Northern Manitoba communities. Indeed, this work led to the creation of the Manitoba Food Charter, which is now known as Food Matters Manitoba. It's a remarkable impact on a grand scale. But here is one other story that I think summarizes the selfless commitment to helping others. In 2007, she became the first Canadian to win a prestigious award from an international NGO that recognized her work in rural communities. She used her prize money from that award to buy playground equipment for children in Wabadan. In short, Ms. Deloran Kalam has left her impact on generations across a vast geographic region thanks to her everyday acts of kindness and her bold ideas. Today, the University of Manitoba is honored to celebrate her creativity and commitment to improving the lives of countless Manitobans. Madam Chancellor, it is an honor for me to ask 
on behalf of the Senate of the University of Manitoba that you confer upon Miss Diana Delarond Colomb the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of this University, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Dr. Delarond Kalam has signed the honor roll and it is now my honor to ask her to address convocation. Greetings, President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Michael Bernard, Chancellor Mahan, the Senate, faculty and staff, 2021 graduates, elders, knowledge keepers, our family, friends, and honored guest, Chief David Monias of Cross Lake First Nation. Today I stand before you and accept the honorary doctorate degree of laws, honoris causa, the highest honor from the University of Manitoba with profound gratitude and gratefulness. Today, we celebrate you, the graduates of 2021, as you are about to embark on your next journey. A proverb that I would like to share with you is one that I find quite appropriate for why I stand before you. <clears throat> if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Tell him how to fish, teach him how to fish, you will feed him for a lifetime. I have always believed that if we go to our community with the concept that we are going to show them how things are going to be done, you will learn very quickly that is not the case. When working with our communities, we must acknowledge that we are building on capacity and not building capacity. The community people are the experts. Everyone has strengths and we must call upon their voices to make things happen. It's about rolling up your sleeves and getting the job done. Where there is a will, there is always a way. I believe that is paramount that people see tangible successes that are real and that they can say, hey, my contribution mattered and was valued. Graduates, as you venture into your field of study, remember that your role is to guide, facilitate, mentor, and empower those that we hope to serve, to make a difference in their lives and that of their community. I would like to thank my nominator, the late Larry McIver, for believing in the work that was being done for the betterment of all. And as a fellow community member, felt that I, that I should receive this recognition. I share this honorary doctorate degree with my home community of Woboden, the community helpers, the funders and partners that believed in and supported community collaboration on the ground right at the grassroots level. I also want to acknowledge my siblings and extended family for their love and continuing support. How lucky we are to come from strong, resilient and hardworking people. In closing, a huge thank you to my husband, Albert, and children, Glenda, Jonathan, Ricky, Desiree and Lindsay for understanding and supporting all the adventures that I have been involved in and adventures that are yet to come and also for your help in carrying out some of the tasks and the, and the demands with very short notice or no notice at all. Egese, thank you. Kinan Naskamitin. Thank you for those inspiring words, Dr. Dilaran Kalam. You are truly an inspiration. 
congratulations to Dr. Deloran Kalam and congratulations to our class of 2021. Chancellor Mann, it is my honor to ask, in the name of the Senate of the University, that you confer the degrees and diplomas to the graduating class of the fall of 2021, as these will later be announced. By virtue of the authority vested in me as chancellor of this university, I admit you to the degrees and diplomas to which you are severally entitled with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. I also admit in absentia those who have completed the requirements for these degrees and diplomas, but who are not today able to be present. Once again, congratulations to our class of 2021. You are an inspiring and diverse class that has proven how resilient and committed you are in your pursuit of an education that will transform you and the communities you touch. We are so proud of what you have accomplished and we look forward to seeing how you use what you have learned here to reshape our society for the betterment of all. And welcome to our alumni community. You are part of something greater than yourself, and we'd like to share this video with you from alumni and deans. Thank you, Miigwech. Hello, graduates. That sounds good, right? Tanze Buju, hello. The Alumni Council welcomes you to the alumni community. I'd like to offer our newest graduates my warmest congratulations. Congratulations! And felicitations. Equiriri. Mabrook Mubarak, class of 2021. Congrats on getting one of these. You did it. You earned it. You survived and made it to the end of the University of Manitoba race. All those years of hard work have paid off. Well done. What an accomplishment to have completed your studies. And here you are crossing the finish line. I hope that you feel so proud of your accomplishments. I'm so proud of you. I know how hard you all work, so I am very, very proud of you. I encourage you to continue building, continue innovating, and continue serving the communities that surround you because we need you. Each and every one of you have the potential to make an impact. The journey could be tough, but it's not something you cannot handle. You're making history and likely in more ways than one. You should be super proud of what you've accomplished given the challenges that you've had to face this year. You persevered and achieved this impressive milestone. I'm overwhelmed with pride. I'm very excited for you as you continue on your journey in what we say in Anishinaabe as Mino Bamadziwin, the good life. As you depart the University of Manitoba campus with your degree, I encourage you not to leave behind the people with whom you have shared so much. As UM alumni, your work is not only going to influence this province and this country, but the work of the future seven generations. Know yourself. Knowing who you are will become your true north and will guide you throughout your life. I can assure you that you have all the skills you need to succeed in the real world. Set your professional goals and work hard for them. But along the way, a door might open you don't expect. Don't be afraid to go through it. You'll never know where it could take you. Never be afraid of doing the right thing. It's harder, but it's always worth it. Be bold, be fearless, and let's keep building a better future. Follow your dreams. I did, and I've been working here for almost, almost 30 years now. Well, maybe it's time to retire, Richard. Thanks. Congratulations. Please remember three things. Make a good living, make a good life, but also try to contribute to the lives of others. Whether you're working far or wide or near and close, we want to hear from you because we know you're going to be amazing because you are. I'm so excited for you and the endless opportunities you have in front of you with your UM degree. You should be so proud of yourselves. You are going to do amazing things and you'll have your fellow UM alumni cheering you on. Welcome to the U-Manitoba alumni community. Congratulations. Today, you join over 181,000 alumni living in 139 countries worldwide. Stay connected with your university and friends as you go out and conquer the world. Welcome to the UM alumni community.
As an elder, I am honored to speak to you today. Long ago, our old people said that one day the youth would lead us and we would follow you with joy in our hearts and words of encouragement on our lips. Well, today that day is here and I congratulate you for the hard work that you have done. Go now and walk away in a safe way. Hey, hey. Hello everyone. I am Kelly Main, Acting Dean of the Faculty of Graduate Studies. I am delighted to have the chance to virtually speak to you for this fall convocation. Congratulations to each and every one of you on the achievement of your graduate degree. While it would have been great to watch you walk across the platform to receive your parchment, it is nonetheless wonderful to see all of your pictures on the screen celebrating your accomplishment. All the hard work and time you have spent in your graduate program has come to fruition today. I hope that soon there comes a time when you think back to your convocation and marvel at the circumstances present in the world that meant you finished your graduate degree remotely as opposed to in person. Today marks a new chapter in your future and we are proud to see you graduate from the University of Manitoba. The moment is yours. Take time to reflect and celebrate your achievement. On behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, I congratulate you and applaud your success. Congratulations to the Rady graduates of 2021. Take a moment to reflect on the journey that brought you here and those who supported you along the way. You are part of a diverse group of people and ideas, of cultures and beliefs, of passions and dreams in the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences. You're collaborating in new ways with interprofessional colleagues and bridging disciplines for the well-being of all Manitobans. Many of you are already providing exemplary care to patients, clients, and families, especially during the COVID pandemic. Some of you will go on to help improve care to underserviced communities or choose to become educators and leaders. Others will engage in research and help develop the treatments of tomorrow. All of you will carry your experience of learning, training, researching, and working on the front lines during the pandemic with you for the rest of your careers. Throughout your studies, you've learned to navigate obstacles and overcome. And as you find your next challenge, I'm confident you will bring that same energy, resilience, and pride in your profession and compassion for patients and clients. While I wish we were all together applauding you in person, we're delighted to join your family and friends virtually in cheering you on today. I want to congratulate everyone who has convocated today from the College of Rehab Sciences. Today marks the end of a commitment to yourself to complete a program of study in physical, occupational, and respiratory therapy. But today also marks a new commitment and a new journey to helping others. Enjoy this journey. Continue to challenge yourself, Continue to learn, and remember, you'll always be a part of this college. Faculty of Graduate Studies Charmaine Exelud Emily Maggie Elizabeth Ariano Neely Jamie Armstrong Kelsey Marie Bertoul Emily Ann Carey Jessica Marie Jean Carrier Jennifer Diane Casey Sarah Lynn Clement Corrine Margaret Jane Klein
Judy Dang. Kelsey Diltz. Monica Ashley Dunsford. Sarah Ann Dick. Talon Maria Dick. Morgan Jessica Marlowe Evans. Kayla Ashton Hole. Paige Lauren Kirby. Maya Kirstein. Eric Arthur Sutherland Koski. Chelsea McBay. Laura Viola Parsons. Heidi Prianthi Pereira. Brenly Perillo. Megan Lee Richards Peterson. Tatiana Brooke Raposo. Celeste Narcisa Rocha St. Lawrence. Cassandra Dawn Rohr. Brittany Cheryl Rosschuk. Taryn Maureen Shineman. Brenna Colleen Simonite. Kristen Michelle Smirchansky. Janessa Spencer. Sarah Ishbel Starodub. Jessica Sutton. Haley Jill Thorne. Alyssa Page Timlick. Monica Grace Warzel. Hannah Autumn Weeb.
Taylor Don Williams. Carly Ann Wilson. Nikki Lee Jaworski. Amy Jolyn Ensbergen. Michael Joseph Ball. Nicole Sierra Balzer. Rebecca Jean Barber. Sydney Kirsten Binney. Laura Lynn Brinkman. Kristen Mary Burnham. Nicole Ray Carswell. Dustin Delay. Kaylee Maria Tracy Evans. Joel Nicholas Gennick. Allison Dawn Caitlin Goddard. Morgan Lay Highfield. Thomas Rowe Horseman. Tamara Jody Louise Jansen. Megan Don Jubinville. Bailey Moore Kelleher. Sophie Lamb. Amy Marie Lambert. Natalie Marina Manicato. Callum Reed McDonald. Matthew Fraser McDonald. Sarah Miller. Johanna Edna Maureen Nicholson. Arnett Justin Pablo. Megan Abigail Pasqua.
Lindsay Lee Peter. Joshua Noah Richard Pettick. Atusa Reimer. Eric Jonathan Richter. Kyle Robert Shaw. Michael Eric Sophilas. Aaron Jennifer Steen. Troy Nathan Zora. Caitlin Susan Marie Timko. Laura Marie Wallace. Marissa Alexandra Joel Westman. Jacob Liam Wolf. Samantha Nicole Yi Ling Wu. Irini Youssef. Laura Marie Carroll. Avery Paul Clavio. Alexis Samantha Jameson. Sydney Cheyenne Martin. Sam Moreno Martinez. Evan Christopher Nanny. Shelby Jordan Page. Laura May Prince. Alana Ashri Ramnath. Mark Kalenik Shaworski. Stephanie Lane Sheard. Darsh Nilesh Shet. Trisha Caitlin Vera. Ashley Jean Wickland. Emma Lorraine Wolf.
College of Rehabilitation Sciences, Rady Faculty of Health Sciences. Natasha Marie Dutka. Mariam Imtiaz. Haley Morgan Nakanashni. Lacey Nakanashni. Carmi Jane Peralta. Deanna Elizabeth Rempel. Georgia Lindsay Rickshide. Curtis Van Loon. Jia Yao Yu. Uh, if I could say something to my fellow graduate, it would be congratulations. Graduating in a pandemic is something special. Not quite the same as, you know, walking the stage. I think we should all be really proud of ourselves for getting through it. And to my fellow graduates, um, I truly think we've achieved a lot and it's really important that we take our time to celebrate who we are as well as our victory. We've made it through some really strange times, but I think it's made us stronger. And I think we're all ready to take on the next part of our lives, even if we're all on different paths and we all have different tools going forward. I think we're all ready to take on something different. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it.